Hello viewers, we are here to encourage one another. I am Joshua Mutuota. And I'm Joanne Mugambi. Yes, we are here to encourage you as we journey together. And briefly, we will just mention um, a few things as we major on finding our bearing in times of crisis. We are living at a time when uh, uh, in the entire globe, there is a lot of uncertainty much is going on, not forgetting to mention the current scenario that is prevailing the coronavirus. And this has shaken so many sectors, even starting with our personal lives, we are shaken. We, we are not very sure and somehow the crisis is so evident. But I want to encourage you, you can find your bearing and especially if you put your trust in God. But um, we will mention a few other things and I'm sure the Lord will bless us. We are here with John and as we talk about finding our bearing in times of crisis, John, I want to encourage you, to, to welcome you to just help us understand what is it that one can do to be able to find his or her bearing when you are engulfed with, by challenging seasons. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Rev. Um, and dear listener and dear viewer, thank you very much for watching this show. Uh, again, we are here just to help you find your bearing. Now, um, Rev, uh, in the journey through crisis, um, we've been talking about change, we've been talking about how you can cope uh, in a healthy way. And today, I just want us to talk about three principles that can help the viewer in finding their bearing uh, during this crisis. Uh, if you look at the journey that you have been walking in the last four or five months, yes. we, we, we have been gradually uh, adjusting ourselves to the new way of doing things. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have been growing our hope yes. to the fact that this pandemic is likely to end soon. Yes. Um, but you realize that we are in a time where all the structures, uh, all the, the, the governance uh, places, mm -hmm. and all the hopes and places where we, we, look, we look up to for direction, mm -hmm. be it in our social places, be it um, with the government. Mm -hmm. uh, now we are talking about schools. We, we are at a time when we don't know where to go mm -hmm. and to turn to yes. because every foundation seems to be shaken. Mm -hmm. But I'm encouraged um, even as I read the word of God because the Bible says when the foundations of the righteous are shaken, mm -hmm. where will they go? Yes. So the first encouragement uh, to the viewer is to tell them that there is hope in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to discuss three principles that help the, might help the viewer mm -hmm. to sort of their bearing in the midst of this crisis. Mm -hmm. And the first thing for me is I would like the viewer to start by understanding their times and their season. Mm -hmm. It is true that we are all going through this pandemic mm -hmm. and it is also true that this has made history. Mm -hmm. But looking at what has become mm -hmm. out of this crisis, the fact is we all have been in different positions mm -hmm. during this crisis. Mm -hmm. There are people who have lost jobs, others have really shut down their businesses, mm -hmm. But there are also people who have made fortunes mm -hmm. and were wishing that this had come earlier. So we are all going through a similar pandemic, mm -hmm. but the outcomes have been different for everyone. Yes. So the question is, what is your season at a time like this? Yes. And I'd like to reference the word of God in the book of First Chronicles chapter 12 and verse 32, mm -hmm. when David was going into war to take over Saul's kingdom. And the Bible says, the sons of Issachar, mm -hmm. men and women, of God who understood the times and knew what Israel needed. And so the first principle for me is for the listener to ask themselves, what is this season and what is this time talking to me about? So it is true that it's a pandemic affecting the, the world, the entire world, but it's speaking something different for each one of us. So the first thing is to understand their season, mm -hmm. understand what is the Lord telling you? What does this mean for you socially? Mm -hmm. What does it mean for you spiritually? What does it mean for you mm -hmm. even in your individual space? Mm -hmm. So that is the first thing that I would like the listener to address themselves to. Mm -hmm. 
The second point for me is the principle of exercising self-leadership. Yes. And as I just mentioned, we are living in times where we are looking for hope in the government, mm -hmm. in the leadership, in our places of work, mm -hmm. in the business community, mm -hmm. from the economists. But nobody has clarity mm -hmm. as to what will become mm -hmm. and what next do we do. Mm -hmm. But when all those processes and systems are failed, I am happy that we have the church yes. that is telling us mm -hmm. that God has the final word. That is true. But even as we leverage on the word of God, mm -hmm. remember the word of God tells us about a personal relationship with our maker. Mm -hmm. But as you have that relationship, I would encourage the listener to exercise self-leadership. Now, mm -hmm. what is self-leadership? Mm -hmm. Self-leadership is about who you are, mm -hmm. knowing who you are, knowing what you want mm -hmm. and why you want it. Mm -hmm. Having an individual inspiration mm -hmm. to what you want to become. Mm -hmm. And that way, you will be able to inspire mm -hmm. the system around you. Mm -hmm. and, and just to borrow from the Greek philosophy, um, you know, Plato says that uh, the greatest victory mm -hmm. is of ourself. Mm -hmm. So, although you're going to fight a breakthrough through this crisis, mm -hmm. we must first conquer ourselves. Yes. And this is where the element of self leadership comes in. Yes. And if you read from the Greek philosophers, they talk about the rhetorical triangle, mm -hmm. it talks about the things you need to deal with yes. for you to really know that you are in control. You are leading yourself because yes. you cannot lead others if you are not leading yourself. Mm -hmm. If you are a father out there trying to figure out how the new way of leading family is, if you are a manager out there trying to figure out how the new way of leading your people is, if you are a CEO of your own company and trying to figure out how you're going to manage and direct your company in the new way, yes. if you are a church leader sitting there wondering how you're going to lead the church the new way, you must start by leading yourself. When well, you talk about leading yourself, Joy, I would also want our viewer to address uh, ourselves to some misleading uh, teachings that are going on, and especially to our young people, when they hear people talk about leading themselves, mm. they don't want to be told anything. In fact, we are living at a time where when you want to guide a young person, or let's not just talk about young people, let's talk about the human race. Mm. When you think about leading yourself, you assume like there is nobody who can direct you. Mm. A time like now, where some young people are deciding, mm. I want to do this, yet the parents can see this is against the way of life that you are supposed to be exposed to do. Mm. So I would want you to expound a bit about leading yourself and also the three aspects that you are mentioning mm. um, so that uh, we can revolve around the same mm. and trace our behavior. Right. Mm. So thank you, Rev. Um, and it is true that we are having um, a, what you are, I think what you are referring to is broken mm. leadership. Yes. About selves and the systems we exist in. Mm. So the parent, the child, mm. and even ourselves. Yes. We are finding ourselves in a situation where you don't know what to do, so you do anything. Mm. We are finding ourselves um, not able to follow the norms mm. that we were used to. We are finding ourselves not sure whether you want to go to church or not. Yes. You don't know what your reference is. Mm. So maybe I could go back to, the, to, to the, the, the Greek philosophy that talks about the three pillars of self-leadership. Yes. Now, in terms of how you lead yourself, you look at three things. Mm. The first thing is what we call the ethos. Mm. The ethos are about your ethics. Mm. And it doesn't matter whether you're a young person mm. or whether you're an, an adult, mm. a parent, mm. or so old. Mm. The ethos are about your ethics, mm. integrity, honesty. So in the middle of the crisis, mm. ask yourself, is what you are doing mm. and how you're moving about, is it honest? Mm. Is it something you would consider as living with integrity? Mm. Is it in line with your ethics? Yes. That is the first 
point in your compass. Yes. Because the, the, the triangle, the three points are actually your GPS. Mm -hmm. Is it in line with your, what you're taught as a Christian? Mm -hmm. Is it something that is of integrity? Is it honest? If you're conducting business the new way, mm -hmm. if you're parenting, if you're a youth there, doing things in the new way, mm -hmm. or just doing things to cope, is it ethical? Yes. Is it honest? Mm -hmm. Is it what is in line with the word of God? So that's your ethics. Mm -hmm. The second thing about self-leadership is what we call the pathos. Mm -hmm. The pathos have to do with your passion. Mm -hmm. What do you like to do? Yes. What is that thing that makes you tick? Mm -hmm. What is that thing that makes your energy go up? Mm -hmm. What are your hopes? What are your fears? Mm -hmm. You search yourself and you find out in the midst of the crisis, mm -hmm. am I finding time? Am I focusing on what I like to do? Am I focusing my energy on what I like to do? Mm -hmm. Or am I focusing on my fears? Am I focusing on the negative? Mm -hmm. Am I building on my hopes? That is what the pathos are about. Yes. And the last part of that triangle is what we call the logos. Mm -hmm. And just like the word says, it's about logic. Whatever you're doing, yes. what are the facts mm -hmm. and the reasons mm -hmm. behind what you are doing? Mm -hmm. If you're doing business in a different way, if you're talking to your children in a different way, mm -hmm. if you have adopted a new lifestyle, mm -hmm. if you have opted now that this is not the way I'm going to do because I'm faced with a crisis, mm -hmm. what is the reasoning? What are the facts that you have in your hands that influence the decision that you're making? Yes. So when you talk about self-leadership, it's about those two things. Your ethos, your pathos, mm -hmm. and your logos. Yes. And those are the three things mm -hmm. that keep you in control in the right way. Now look, mm -hmm. as a Christian we are saying, those things are fundamental mm -hmm. for your health as an individual. Mm -hmm. Because as we said earlier, you cannot lead others mm -hmm. if you're not in to use yourself. Yeah. So it's very critical that the viewer mm -hmm. and ourselves mm -hmm. address ourselves to those three aspects yes. of your life. Yes. Before you find what the government is saying, mm -hmm. before you try to understand what the Ministry of Health is saying, yes. before you find out what the systems are saying and what the World Health Organization is saying, yes. as a Christian, have you addressed yourself to those three things? Mm -hmm. Because you need to lead yourself yes. for you to be able to be honest. Yes, right. Thank you very much. My dear viewer, I am sure you are following and you are getting something from this discussion. Mine is to refer you to John 14 verse 6. We are tracing and trying to find our bearing through all this crisis. But I want to encourage you. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John has told us that the three, the triangle, is like uh, our GPS, the GPS to find yourself, to understand yourself, to recollect yourself, is Jesus Christ. Let us follow Jesus. Let us also move on together as we trust God that through all this, we shall not be overtaken, shall not be, you know, uh, confused, but we'll be able to move on. So, Joanne, maybe a parting shot for our viewer? Right, so thank you, Rev. Um, so finally, my, my, my last point. Mm -hmm. um, after you have understood what this season has for you, mm -hmm. after you have searched yourself mm -hmm. and exercised self-leadership, mm -hmm. you know what your ethics are, mm -hmm. you know how you're positioned, you know who you are, mm -hmm. what you want and why you want it, mm -hmm. the last thing that you must do mm -hmm. is to activate your purpose. Sure. And it is true that this crisis has pushed everyone to a place that they have never thought about. Yes. But it is also true that God created each one of us mm. with a purpose and with a destiny. Yes. And so the purpose of self-leadership is to help you determine mm. what am I here for and therefore be able to activate your purpose and continue to thrive in the middle of the crisis. True. So the pathos we talked about are about identifying your passion, identifying your hope. Mm. So when I say activate your purpose as the last principle, mm. it's about telling yourself, what is it I can do mm. besides what I cannot do? 
And this is also entrenched in the word of God in the book of Ephesians chapter 9 and verse 10. And it says, whatever you find to do, do it with your might. For in the realm of the dead, another version says in Sheol, mm -hmm. there is no wisdom, mm -hmm. there is no working, mm -hmm. there is no knowledge. Mm -hmm. So dear listener, as you figure out and you try to do it yourself, mm -hmm. it is time to activate your purpose. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the crisis, mm -hmm. you must continue to fall. Mm -hmm. You must not come out empty mm -hmm. in the storm. Yes. So those are the three principles, dear listener, that I would like you to uh, embed. Mm -hmm. First, understand the time. Secondly, exercise your leadership. We have talked about the ethos, mm -hmm. the pathos, and the logos. Yes. And finally, mm -hmm. remember to activate your purpose. Mm -hmm. Focus on what you can do. Mm -hmm. Focus on the positive. Mm -hmm. Suppress your inner saboteur mm -hmm. and raise your positive energy mm -hmm. because you must conquer mm -hmm. and you must fight bear bearing mm -hmm. in, this, uh, in this crisis. Mm -hmm. That is your GPS. That is the compass mm -hmm. at this time of crisis. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dear listener, and back to you. God bless you, and uh, we thank God for that brief session. I am sure you have learned a lot. Let us continue and uh, keep on encouraging one another, knowing that the crisis has not come to finish up. The Lord is together with us. He will walk with us. Put your focus on God. I want to pray for you briefly, and uh, the Lord bless you. Thank you, John. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for our viewer. We thank you for the three principles that you have taught us today. Help us, O oh God, through Jesus Christ, to locate our bearing and to know that we are not alone, but God, you are on our side. Bless us and be with us for this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed time.